of 14 days. What do you mean? You gotta self isolate. You can't leave your house for 14 days? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go in there way before uh, uh, Nightcrawler Media and I'm gonna tell him this guy's been stalking me and following me. Can you do something about him? <laughs> He's scared to go in. He's gonna really be scared when he's got, they got all their attention. I wonder if the, the the police department's closed due to coronavirus. See, you, you can't come in here. It says, look it, you're not allowed to park in here. He turned around. He left. I call immediately. No parking. About uh, oh, I got a lot of questions I can ask him. Go tell Nightcrawler and tell him to run because I'm gonna put a bolo. Be on the lookout for the guy that's following me with a camera. Uh, and this is also the this is this is the police station that started disorderly product news. They refused to take my report. Hey, buddy, what do you say? What do you do? What do you do? What do you say? How's it going? Not bad, not bad. I just had a couple questions. Are you guys, uh, is there any special things the Chicago Police Department is doing uh, because of uh, the pandemic called the coronavirus? Because it seems like everybody's freaking out, and I wanted to know if they're the Chicago Police Department themselves have any directives in which they, there are things they should be doing. So there's no, there's no uh, internal emails or saying, like, uh, do this for the public or... Wash your hands, right? Because, I mean, really, at the end of the day, you know, they could close schools, they can do this and that, but police have to go to calls, right? They're going to have to interact with the public. So I want to make sure the police officers are safe and not uh, contracting any, you know? Because at the end of the day, that's the one thing that can't get shut down, police and fire, right? Yeah, but he was behind me. Let me see this young lady here, if I know her. Ma'am? No, no, I don't know you. Were you in here before when I came on the camera? There was a very, very nice lady sitting there when I came in with a camera one time. I wanted to thank you for being uh, so nice. I'm going to take a look at these pictures, if you don't mind. So we're here. We are in the 25th district. He said there's no uh, special... Uh, they're not taking any special, uh, that's not a selfie stick, it's called a gimbal. It's similar to what the guy's walking in with. I can hear him talking about me, but uh. So I guess it's some kind of golf outing. In Chicago. Oh, what a, he never followed me and he got scared. What's going on, Sarge? I just want to know if there was anything special that uh, you guys are doing because of the coronavirus. Because, I mean, obviously, they could close down schools and all that, but they cannot. Um, you guys have to deal with the public, you know. You guys are putting on gloves, or is there anything that the uh, headquarters is telling you guys to do? Same stuff we do with everybody. Yeah. There's not much, much known about the virus, I guess. I, you know what? I didn't even think it was that big a deal until I was watching ESPN the other day and they, they, they sh shut down the NBA season. Then I started thinking, uh-oh, this might be something uh, I need to pay attention to. But I was in the area and I, I got a channel, so I figured I'd ask. All right, guys, I'm just going to take a look around and I'll probably be on my way. <laughs> what did he say? He said, you, you got a cerveza, bro. Monster. Ah, let's get it. It's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to tell him? No, I think there's a sign that says that it closes at a certain time. Oh, okay, so. So maybe we should go stand on the public sidewalk. All right. Okay. Pretty bad idea. Hell yeah. I'm wait till they leave and ask him. All right, I will. I thought you can't drive your cars in the park.
Hey, officer, I got a question. Yeah. How come we can't drive our cars in this, but you can? You don't have to put your hands in the car. Why? Because I told you to, that's why. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Yeah, you're going to be detained. For what? Huh? For being in the park after hours, that's why. Yeah. After hours? At the end, I noticed at the end, I didn't approach you guys, I noticed at the end of the park was closed. That's how we walked out. And what's your point? No, there's no point. Okay. My, there, right. there is a point, but you're not going to get it. So there's no reason to explain it. You hear me? Because you guys have stripe around your flag. That's why. And don't get me wrong, I love the police. Always wanted to be the police. But not the good time of the year. Don't worry, Joe. Of course. No, 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 I understand, sir, but we were, we were no, on... No, this is the I game. Understand. You want to play games, we'll play no, games. No, I don't want to play games, okay. sir. I don't. I, I had don't. no problem. I just want to understand why he you wants did it. To, he wants to play games and not no, tell me who really he is. Wasn't. He doesn't have to be under arrest. I understand. I okay? Understand. I totally that was understand. his choice. I hear you. I, I hear you. explained it to him. I hear you. But you can videotape all you want. I understand. I can videotape all day long. In fact, you're being videotaped right now. I understand. I can hear it. So, can you give me his vehicle keys, please? No. Why not? I can tell you he's going to be at Grand Central. I understand. Okay, sir. He's going to be at Grand Central, and he's not even going to stay the night. What's your name and your badge number, sir? That's right here. Can you I can't reach you. 13778. What's your name? I just told you. Okay, what's your name and your badge number, ma'am? Officer Rodriguez, 4189. Thank you. You're well informed. You what's your name and your badge number? What's up, brother? Name and your badge number, sir? Archer, 9241. Name and your badge number, sir? Thank you. you guys Nobody knows Joe Cool or Disorderly Product. Joe, come on. I can't step in there. Come on. He's free to go, right? Come on. Wait till he comes right here. Hey, Sarge, can you can you tell me? Or I don't know if you're a sergeant. Can you tell me who's the who's the, who's the captain on duty today, or the shift? The watch commander. The watch commander, the 99, I believe they call it over the radio. What are you recording me right now? Yeah. Yes, sir. You want to know what? Who's the watch commander? They don't have watch commander. Okay, who's the highest ranking member of the 25th district right now? Right now. On duty. On duty, lieutenant. Okay, is he available? Yes. No. Okay. What's your name and star number? What's your star number? Two zero one nine. You can help me with expediting the process because I mean, <laughs> I feel like we are here waiting for an investigatory ticket, and uh, an investigatory ticket. A stop. Re an investigatory ticket. They give it to you when you get, when they stop you and detain you and investigate you. They investigate you. You you you, you, you mean? Hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me I'm telling you what an investigatory stop receipt is? I know they didn't. That's not what you said. You Why did you wait on scene for? The what did I say? What did I say? Yeah, I guess that's the way you do. He just he says something and looks up at the ceiling like someone up with someone up there talking to you. I'm sure they did. They did. I have a recorder, sir. Hey, sir, why are you talking to the officer with the issue over there? Isn't this a warrant? Okay. Nobody seems to know. What's uh, Sergeant? What's it on the desk duty? What's your name, Sergeant Number? Sergeant Azzarello, 1939. 1939. Hey, buddy. The gentleman that told him he had to go to the radio room. Star number 8015, currently assigned to the 25th district. There you go. Sound off, sir. Do it with pride. Everybody should do it like Flynn does it. Was this guy there? Yeah. Was he at the door? No, no, no. I don't know. I don't want to put any, anybody into it. It wasn't into it. He just walked Yeah. If he wasn't there, he wasn't there. I can't. I have no subpoena powers. I never said I was going to subpoena you.
Hang you down there. Go. Who's coming in right now? He said, can I give you one in picture and email it? He's going to make one. He gave it to us. Put the video on. Put the video on so we can ID these other officers. How are you? We're good, sir. Still recording? Yes, sir. Anytime, listen, you won't even have to ask. If I'm holding the camera like this, it's going to be recorded. Trust me. I'm not doing this just to, for I'm fun. I'm not really sure what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, well, I'm not asking you to figure it out. I'm not asking for your help. Really not not once have I ever you're asked for your help. I am. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I there's and we wonder why there's a federal consent decree. Yes. All right. Here's your receipt, okay? All the information is on there that you need. Can I show you the officers that were on the scene, Sergeant? So you can ID them for me. It's all on there, right there. Sir. So you can't ID the officers that were on scene. So. The, 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 but there was the arresting officer, there was the detaining officer. I'm talking about the officers that witnessed the event. Okay. Show on the video. I'm asking you if you can ID them. Oh my. I'm asking if you can ID them from the video and give me their, their names and their star numbers. As they were part and parcel to the investigation. Why do you need them ID? Because they were there. Because they were there. They were witnesses to the, why wouldn't I need them? Okay, well, you're, it, you, hold on. You're not, you're not the person that decides that, unfortunately. So what I want is the people that were on scene. Can you give me that information or can you not? So put it on. Put it on. Make it turn it sideways right where it's at. I'll be honest with you. It's my first time. I'm, in okay. I'm probably not going to be able to ID anybody. Okay, well, that, then I'm, that's all I'm asking. If you can't, uh, listen, I'm not holding your feet to the fire. If you can't do it, you can't do it. I'm just asking you. Okay, he's on the card. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're, we're looking for these next ones. So this woman right here, is, is it Rodriguez? That's the other one on the card. Okay. okay. And then, let's see, some other ones. There's about six officers altogether. Yeah. So, I mean, I wasn't really that close, to be honest with you. That's a monster, bud. You want to see it? Just can, you, can you? I'm recording, bud. Don't worry. Um, I got you. Don't worry. Can you, can you see this guy's face right here? No. Can't see him? All right, bud. Okay. You're in there, but like I said, uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay, okay. okay. I, that's I that's understandable, yeah, Sergeant. Yeah, understandable. Videos, We're not trying to be adversarial, Sergeant. We're just asking. Um, so we understand you got a job to perform. You weren't even out there. You did nothing of this. This problem came to your feet. So we're just asking, you know, just uh, so those two officers, do they have partners that they were with tonight that would obviously be on they the scene? They are partners. Okay, those two are partners. Two are okay. Partners. So, we'll, I mean, we'll go through the footwork and uh, figure out the rest. So, I listen, I didn't come in here trying to start a problem, but you got to understand, this guy just made nationwide news for getting assaulted at the 17th District, and the day they don't come to court, and they're the sole complainants, and the next, he's the only one arrested when they were both in the park, or detained, sorry. And yet no, they nobody, don't. Nobody was arrested. No, they were detained. They, he was just the subject of an investigatory stop. Exactly, but yet he didn't get a ticket. For being in the park after hours. Yeah, but they didn't give him an investigatory stop receipt, which oh, is what it's customary, you know. All explained and recorded on the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I understand you got to stick up for him now, but what you, okay. what the, the way they did it wasn't right, so right. it is you what it is. Night, okay? You too, Sarge. You missed everything. Oh. What, where did you, did you? I went to the wrong door. You went to the courthouse? So I, what I was asking the officers is if they have anything special because of, uh, if the, um, if the, yeah, because they have to interact with the public irregardless. They can't shut down. Yeah. So uh, this is in Chicago. They have, they started this thing about a decade ago where they put up ceramic bowls. And it's gone from ceramic bowls. Now there's ceramic German shepherds. 
and there's ceramic, uh, everything. So there's, I don't know what you say. This is just a winning season. It's a soccer book right there inside the police station. And uh, these are just different literature. Uh, love shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't. But sometimes it does. Just not physically, only emotionally. Love should only hurt emotionally, never physically. Domestic violence. Nobody wins. Oh. Enhanced sight program. I need one of these. Oh, this is what I need. This is what I need right there. Right, that's what I need. Show up to one of the beat memes. Yo, DPN, this is Chucky. How you doing? Chuck Bronson, my man. Chuck Bronson, what's going on? Hey, we still, hey, Joe Cool, what's going on? Hey, uh, Chuck, we still got to do that, that thing. I mean, don't say it on here because I don't want to say it, but. But we just stopped in the 25th district to see if there's anything special that these officers have to do that uh, headquarters, uh, 35th and state, uh, has told them, you know, you got to wear gloves or whatever when you, because every, if you think about it, everybody can close down, but these guys have to, have to go out. All right, gentlemen, have a good night. Ladies, have a good night. He was going around. So this is Area 5 Police Center. Um, Area 5, you see Jane Byrne right there? So Jane Byrne, that was the mayor. Area 5 was one of the most corrupt, um, and see that, uh, that, that superintendent right there? Uh, um, Area 5, look up Detective Guevara. Detective Guevara, 11 people have been released on murder cases that he's been involved with. 50, 50 plus others are um, under review. He's uh, probably, in my opinion, the second most um, devious, uh, most, um, they called him the super detective because he could solve any crime. Well, he was using confidential informants and uh, rigging the system and making sure people got, went down uh, for crimes they didn't do. And then uh, James Gibson, um, that he was under Lieutenant Burge and Commander Burge, but Commander Burge was the commander of a, um, of an area. See, this these this is a district, but it was also an area. Areas are where the detectives work out of the homicide unit, the arson unit, and uh, he was the commander of District Two, and he was involved with District Three. James Gibson went to District Three when he was tortured and uh, spent 29 years in prison. But about a month ago, he got uh, he 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 qu he's qualified for. Um, or he actually put in a certification for innocence, and he won. So he's certified innocent. So that means the state of Illinois says that he is not guilty for the crimes in which he spent 29 years in jail for.